for honor? Shall I order the guards to let them pass, Sir Graham? Crazy, you can't go in there. You're an officer. Whatever you feel personally doesn't matter now. Think of me, Billy. Don't I mean anything to you. Do this for me. Just this one thing for me. That's all I ask. Don't go in there. I must. Why? I want to pray. I want to pray to my father to ask him to forgive me. I want to let him know that now I understand what he did. I want to be forgiven for having deserted him and my mother. For having been a traitor. You weren't, Willie. Really. That's not true. It was he. Before it's too late, Uncle Villan, come with me. As an officer of the Reich, I command you, return to your quarters. Return to your quarters! Good luck. This is going to look bad on Rikers at the headquarters. Arrest him, sack him, don't steal him. Don't you tippy down the squid quit to the Christie army. Though Helen Grimm left Litzbach that night, and those of us who felt that such cruelty, such complete lack of human decency was peculiar to him alone, learned otherwise in the years that followed. Those who came after him may have varied their forms of torture and brutality, but they were the same. They were all Wilhelm Grimm's. They were Nazis. You didn't see him again after that? Not until today, in this courtroom. You wish to question the witness? No. Thank you. That's all. Wilhelm Grimm. Do you deny the testimony stated by the witnesses to be the truth? To deny or affirm the gossip that's been offered here as testimony would simply be to admit the authority of this court, which I refuse to do. I know this court will exercise its temporary power, but remember, it's only temporary. You have just won another battle in a fight which is not ended. We of the Nazi party are the destiny of Germany. The destiny to fight and conquer. You cannot crush us. We will rise again and again. You heard the witnesses, and you heard the accused defense. Men and women of the United Nations, all of you, you are the jury. It will be up to you to finally judge all criminals and to determine the penalties that shall be meted out to them. For this will only be your war if the final victory brings you justice and a true and everlasting people's peace.